guys, it's April Zine. Today I'm doing a first impressions of a new brand that came to Ulta. I do not know how to pronounce the brand's name and I apologize. It is Uma, Uma Beauty. I'm going to be trying out the foundation, their concealer, and one of their palettes. I'll show you each of them. I might dip into a few different ones just to kind of play around with it. So let's start off with just showing out the palettes. So this first one here is the Pose palette, which that is gorgeous. Work. And then here is the palette looks like. Kind of your more neutral with a pop of blue shimmer. I feel like all the rest is like browns and reds and bronze. It's a good everyday palette. Next we have Sauvage, which looks like this, and on the inside, this one is your red and blue one, and these are just looking stunning. I haven't even touched or swatched them, so I don't know how they look, look on the eyes, but that's pretty. And then lastly, we have this palette, which is the Allure palette. Which looks a little something, something like this, which is kind of your more green and yellow with a eggplant shade here. I think I might play it with this palette today, which is that blue one. This one's just kind of calling to me at the moment, but I might dip into a little bit of this palette as well for that black shade. I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but that is what we're at. And then I am going to do three looks on each of these palettes over on my blog eventually, so that will be coming in the future, but I'm just doing some first impressions on the on this YouTube video. So to start off with, we need a prime, so I'm going to use this guy right here, which is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. I'm just going to Lather that on, just kind of where my pores are, which is everywhere. But more concentrate towards my nose. I have not been wearing makeup for the last like three weeks, really. Like, I've been kind of wearing it, but for the most part, I have not. That is why I haven't really been posting videos. Or blog posts because I just haven't been really feeling inspired to do anything makeup related. So yeah, so we're gonna start off with this foundation, which is the Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation, and then this is they have t several different formulas. It looks like they have like ones that have a purple cap and ones that have a blue cap. I don't know the difference between them. This is a T1N, which is um, and it's Fair Lady, which is the fair shade. I didn't go for very fair. I went for just fair because I thought that would be kind of more somewhere in between or it would be my summer shade and summer is coming up. So I wanted to go with that. Let's just give me some more color. And I went neutral undertone because that typically is good for me. But yeah, they have like two different things. And the Team 1 does not like, um, this T1 they also had in the dark, so that's not like an indication. The number is not an indication of like where on the scale it is. I think one means it's an adjustable coverage, so it's medium coverage that's buildable. So I'm just gonna apply this with a sponge. And I just realized a flaw in my plan. I didn't bring a second mirror over here. So if we just try to do it like this. I'm going to focus down on my knee where I have the mirror. <laughs> so this looks like more of a summery shade for me than a right now shade for me. And a little bit more. my sponge 
either ate it or I just didn't grab enough in the first place. Okay, finish wise, I like it. Color wise, it is off for me. And I feel slightly yellow. You know, this is supposed to be neutral, not warm. So it's a bit too yellowish looking. In my opinion, and for some reason the foundation is not sitting well right here, which I think is more of the primer's fault than it is the foundations because I didn't blend it well enough there apparently. Alright, so next I go in with concealer and this guy comes in 17 shades. I also got T1 um, Fair Lady. It's got a nice size doe foot applicator. I'll put some info on the screen here. Just gonna oh that's way too dark for what I normally go for, so I'm just going to go grab another concealer real quick. Okay, I'm just going to mix in a little bit of Makeup Revolutions um, Super Size in C.5. Uh, just to add some lightness into this. Why this is going to be way too often. I'm going to apply that on my eyelids as well as a base. Just trying to use some of the excess down lower. Okay. There we go. I'm going to go pop on some brows real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, went and did the rest of my makeup. Then I called my sister in and had her test these. They look way better on her skin tone than mine. I just feel really not like this is my skin tone. I'm not sure about the foundation yet. I'm going to keep wearing it the rest of the day just to find out my own thoughts. And I'll do with opinions on this later when I get my own shade tone. But my sister is low on both these items, so I might just give these to her. Though... I don't know, because I could also use them in the summer, maybe, if I got tan and went outside. So, I don't know. Right now, not the right skin tone for me, even though it's fair. I do need very fair. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's go into eyeshadow. And I'm going to zoom you guys in here real quick. Alright, y'all are zoomed in. Way more. I'm not doing all the way zoom in because I always end up just filming my forehead. So we're going to stay a little bit zoomed out. And I put a lip on that's just kind of a neutral lip. I don't know if it's going to actually go with this look. But these are the ones I'm going to be going with. So that should somewhat go together. So I'm going to start off with the shade... OYA, which is this one right here. I'm going to take that on a uh, Luxie 229 tapered blending brush. And we'll see how this is. There is no kickback. Yeah, let me show you. I don't know don't do this. It's like no kickback. My brush is very not is insanely coated now. A little did come off when I did that, but there is no kickback. We'll see how far this goes before I dip back in. Sorry, I just dipped twice. All right, so it stuck exactly where I left it, and then almost all of it came off my brush. This could dip for a little bit more and build this up. Kind of leaving the middle, not as um, intense. Alright, I'm going to build that up some more. That blends really easily too. I 
There is no skippage. And still absolutely no kickback in the pan. Or fallout. I am liking this so far. Did I do the same pattern on each eye? No, I did not. <laughs> Let's try to make them somewhat of a match. Okay, that's closer to each eye. Okay. Next, I'm going to take a dumb brush from ELF and go into the shade Warrior, which is this one right here. A little, a little kickback in the pan. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little, but like not much. Buff out this edge here. And then take that in the inner, because I'm going to do a halo today. That just blends itself out. Like, I did not spend any time in that art. It looks very blended. Let me go back out there for a brush. And just blend a little bit more. Not that I really need to, though. Okay. Anyways. Okay. Uh, I want to swatch the namesake of this palette. And then here's She Tore, which is directly next. Oh, that feels wet and buttery. Wait. That is a bad swatch. Let's go back for a few times. Alright, so this is a glitter finish, and this is a metallic. The glitter does seem to skip a little. It definitely sticks to my finger. But not too bad. Like, you can't really notice unless you're looking straight up at it. And this metallic is super buttery. Okay. I put Savage on my lids. Really just because it goes with what I'm got going already. And I am using my finger. Just because that makes it the easiest, typically, with any these types of formulas. That's just how I normally do it. Alright, and then in the center, I'm going to take some of this lightning, which is a silvery tone. Ooh, that's soft. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, hello, pigment. Alright, we're going to go back in with a little bit of savage. That's not how pigment... <laughs> Not exactly what I was going for. That's more what I was going for. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back and forth. Adding a little silver at a time. Alright. I feel like my lids are wet. Like they look wet, not <laughs> that they feel wet. I like it. Um, let me go back in with this brush and some more Warrior. And just make sure that that is properly blended like that. Then I'm going to go into the little bit of black, y'all, on that same brush and just tap it in this outer corner here. Just to really smoke that thing out. Okay. There is a little bit of fallout on this eye, so I'm going to clean that away with it's a blunty brush that's clean. Now I'm just going to use that blending brush to then finish off the blend. Like that. Alright, I'm going to go put on liner and lashes, and I'll be right back. Alright, we got lashes on. These ones are, oh god, uh, I'm terrible at them. I got Doll from um, Arendelle Cosmetics lashes. They're Doll, which I do like. They're very simple and kind of PC so you can still see the look. But I feel like they help complete a look. All right, I'm gonna go finish up the lower lash line now. I have a black liner from ColourPop. I think it's called Swerve in my waterline. So, that's what we got going on right now. We use a kind of a flattish brush here. And we are gonna go starting off with um, the red shade here. Oa, Oa, don't know, still absolutely no kickback, even just backing it for But tones of pigment. Wow. Alright, 
Next, I'm going to go in with this brush here. Just a little bit more. There we go. This is easier to smudge it. Okay. Now that it looks like we have red eye, <laughs> we go back in with this brush and some of that black shade, the black y'all. Alright, it's good. Put that kind of more up. Against the lash line and get some of our contact because why not? Alright, there you go. Get the smoke. There we go. Then we're going to just finish it off by putting lightning, the shade here, in the air corner. That is bright and pigmented. I like this palette so far. I don't know how it works, so I'm not saying like this is like the best thing in the world. Alright, now I'm just gonna use some red from ColourPop BFF because why not? We got red going everywhere else. And this is left on red. You guys want to know the shade. But it's like they're only red, so you know. There we go. These are not the red lips. I'm going to go change my lips real quick and I'll be right back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this first impressions. There we go. Through on ColourPop's Pearl Next Door, which is a red ultra matte shade. So, put it on from one palette, which is this one, which I played around with just one, two, three, four, five. Not half of the shades in this palette. I need to play around with it more, but so far, I am liking it. I like this look. The foundation is not my shade tone, I don't think. But so far, it's kind of nice finish. It looks kind of like a second skin, which is not bad. There's a little creasing underneath, but that could have also just been because I mixed in Makeup Revolution. But it's not like very noticeable by any means. But yeah. I'm loving this eye look a lot at the moment. So, this so far has a thumbs up, but I need to play around with it some more. I'll do three looks using each of these palettes over on my blog, as I mentioned in the beginning. And then I'm gonna try finding what shade is actually mine, but these are gonna go to my sister because they are not my skin tone. But I do, so far, like it. I say, I need to play around with this more. But, those are first, my first impressions on this new brand that's in Ulta. I have put all the prices and everything up on top. If you want to see more looks using any of these palettes, just let me know which one. Uh, Savage, Allure, or Pose. And I will create a look using them. So yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I had fun back on YouTube. At least for right now. I don't know. Work's getting a little busy, so things might be periodic, but yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big pause up. Subscribe to the Howl Pack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!